Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Script, The Pink Sheet and In Vivo. I'm here at the Biotech Showcase 2018, which is a meeting which runs parallel to the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference, which is the traditional kickoff for the pharmaceutical industry, where executives from pharma companies, together with investors and biotech executives, discuss the sort of the issues that are keeping them awake at night, but also, uh, you know, sharing uh, progress that each of them are making, and also starting conversations which could uh, eventually lead to deals. I'm joined by uh, David Johnson. You haven't come too far because you're, you're based in South San Francisco, CEO of, of, of Gigagen. Yeah. So you guys are in the oncology space, which is uh, a pretty, pretty hot area. Yeah. Sort of w with a sort of an antibody focus. Yeah. How do, you, how do you differentiate yourself from the crowd? Yeah, so one of our advantages is we have a technology that allows us to build entire immune systems of antibodies. So we take mice and we run cells, one cell at a time, but millions per hour. And we're able to basically rebuild the entire immune system and then find antibodies. So we can go really deep. So we get thousands of candidates in a few months. So that allows us to really punch above our, above our weight class in a way, and so we compete, compete with, the, with the bigger guys using our technology. So, so, so how, how do you decide what you're going to build antibodies to? I mean, yeah. how, how, does it, how does it work? Yeah, it's, it's really, a, it's, it's challenging to pick targets, right? Yeah. So, so everything is about the target in oncology. And so we study the literature carefully, we look at what the market is doing, uh, we pick some targets which are really well known, like PD-1, and then some of those antibodies are interesting to groups that are, you know, just getting into the field. And then for, we're also going for other targets which are a little bit newer, like ICOS and Vista, which are, are kind of hot and new. And so we're trying to, to have both kinds of targets in our portfolio rather than pick a single winner. Right, yeah. okay. And so, so it works that, uh, are you doing it to develop your own antibodies or are you, are you doing it for, for, for other people? Yeah. Yeah, so we're not a service business, but we're always looking for collaborations. So, so we're, we're, our model is that we build value, we have federal grants with NIH money, NSF money, and then we build candidates and then we go bring those to collaborators and see if there's a co-development deal that we can accomplish. So obviously it costs a lot of money to bring an oncology drug to clinic, so we're always assuming that we're going to be partnering with our, with our drugs. Right. Right. Yeah. But, but even the sort of you know, to do what you're already doing yeah. uh, costs money. So yeah. how, how, how are you funded? I mean, or yeah. who's, who's, who's back to you? American taxpayers to start. So, so, uh, so SBIR grants from NSF and NIH, we raised over $10 million uh, from those grants. And we also did a, our first co-development deal of a summer with a company called Griffles, who's out of Spain. Okay. And so with the extra money from that financing, we're actually using that to build out our oncology work because they're in a particular polyclonal antibody for immune deficiency space. Okay, so, so, so yeah, maybe we could actually sort of you know, deconstruct that deal so yeah. it, it, it would help yeah. uh, people understand the kind of deals that you, you, you construct. Yeah, so I, I would say that this is the kind of deal that venture capitalists want you to go get when they give you money. But it was neat because we were able to skip the venture capital entirely. So we still, we still controlled the company at the time when we did this deal with Griffles. So we were able to price it with them. Uh, it's all public. It was $35 million pre-money. And so they didn't quite they don't quite have a controlling stake, uh, but they own preferred shares in our company and they got two board sheet seats. And then we have a joint steering committee, which we decide on what drugs we want to do together. And then, and then basically we, we collaborate on those and bring them forward together using investigators on both the Griffles side and the Gigagen side. So, so how, how, yeah. did that deal, how did that deal come about then? I mean, yeah, so we, uh, we did this kind of guerrilla business development campaign where we talked to 200 people because we didn't know anybody at Griffles. So we talked to 200 people and eventually we found people who knew people in Griffles and found the right guys inside the, the company. And it turned out they were looking for something like us. And once we showed our data package to them, uh, they got really excited and we were able to get a deal through. Yeah. So you, you got Griffles there and, and, and there's some work associated that's kind of got a Griffles label on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then you have your own program. So, yeah, so yeah. What, 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 have you, what are you actually focusing on yourselves? Yeah, so, so the, the, the drugs that we own, so that's in the oncology field. 
So we recently uh, published that we nominated 17 targets in the immuno-oncology space. They're all, you know, you've heard of checkpoint inhibitors, obviously. And so they're all in that same vein. And the, the, the exciting thing, I think, of the field right now is looking at combinations, either through by specifics, you know, a single molecule that hits two targets, or combinations. So we think that we can add meaningfully to the field by having this big pipeline of combinations, which we can then hopefully partner on again. So, so you've, got, you've got these 17 targets and you've created a whole array of antibodies that yeah. some, somehow interact. Yeah. yeah. So if I'm a sort of a pharmaceutical company, yeah. Yeah. yeah what, 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 what is your expectation? What, what, what kind of conversation would we be having? Yeah, so we show the portfolio of targets and then the data package that we have. And then we say, well, you know, usually uh, big pharmas will have uh, particular targets that they're interested in. And they'll say, yep, interested in those two or three. And then we go deeper into the data. Uh, a lot of times they'll ask for some protein products so they can do assays themselves internally. And then the hope is that those assays turn out to be positive and that they want to go into a more meaningful collaboration. And often that involves targets which we're not working on, but they're working on. And so it kind of gets folded in, hopefully, to a bigger discovery and co-development deal. Right, yeah. okay. And for, you know, for GigaGen itself, I mean, yeah. I mean what, what is... What is your, your hope? I mean, are you trying to build a, a therapeutics company? Yes. Yeah. So you, that yeah. you would actually have your own proprietary drugs? Yeah. Or so, so as you know, it costs a lot of money to, yeah. to, to do your own drugs. Uh, so, so the Griffles deal, you know, it wasn't quite enough for us to get there. But we're, so what we're hoping is that the next deal will be enough that we can get there. Um, there's always IPO, which is an option. Um, there's later stage venture capital, you know, banks, things like that. So uh, the, the, for us, the biggest hurdle, just like anyone, is those clinical studies that you need to do to get to commercialization. And then, of course, to commercialize, you need a lot of salespeople, and that costs a lot of money, too. So um, yeah, eventually, I'd like to grow the company to a point where we can commercialize our own drugs. Uh, via these later stage financings. That's the end goal. So it's kind of interesting. I've, I've had some conversations with other South San Francisco based, yeah. Uh, yeah. and everybody seems to almost get, go back to the future and want to do the Genentech. <laughs> yeah, let's build a fully integrated yeah. Uh, company. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So you know, what, what is the sort of the timeline then in terms of, you know, you get the deal, you start yeah. doing sort of your know, clinical yeah. Uh, yeah. research. You know, what, 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 how, how does that pan out? Yeah, so I can describe the, the Griffles deal a little bit and maybe that will inform the future. So uh, with Griffles, it took us, uh, we used grant money, it took us about two years to get the data. And then we showed the package to various people interested in that work. That took about a year, we got a deal within about a year and a half, right? And now, you know, we have to get to IND and then go to clinic. Who knows how long that's going to take, but maybe, you know, typically it's two years IND, you know, and then a few years commercialization. So you can imagine on oncology, it's a similar kind of path. Um, although obviously, it, the, the devil is in the details in terms of each particular disease target. So, um, you know, I mentioned in the introduction that, you know, this, this meeting and the whole zoo around uh, JP Morgan is about people either you know, having conversations with pharmaceutical companies yeah. as potential partners or yeah. with, with investors. Yeah. You know, what, is, what has been your major focus? We're, we're focused exclusively on, on uh, pharmaceutical company partners uh, because right now we have enough capital really to get to the next steps. And so if we're talking to venture capitalists, it's usually because they've reached out to us and we're just kind of checking in with them. But we're usually telling them, ah, we're, we're certainly not going to raise any money for another couple of years. Because at this stage, for later stage venture capitalists, we know the kind of data that they need to see to make an investment. And so it's, you know, it, it doesn't make sense and we don't even need the capital right now. So, you know, just kind of keeping in touch with those guys. And same thing with pharmaceutical companies, we're asking, you know, what's the data package that you need to take a, like a really deep dive? Some people said, you, we've got enough already, we're going to take a deep dive now. Others said, oh, you know, come back to me with X, Y, or Z, and then we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. So it just depends on the, on the customer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, David, thank you. Yeah, thank for, you for your time. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. cheers.